Hi, welcome to another episode of Form Storm. Today we'll be discussing the concept of Dyson spheres, which have captured the imagination of science fiction writers, movies, and TV shows like Star Trek. These amazing structures have the potential to help humanity advance to the next level on the Kardashev scale. But before we dive into how they work and how we might be able to build one, it's important to understand what the Kardashev scale is. The Kardashev scale is a way of measuring a civilization's technological advancement based on the amount of energy it uses. It was first developed by a Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in 1964 and is divided into 3 levels. A type 1 civilization is one that has achieved the ability to harness all the energy available on its own planet. This could include energy from fossil fuels, nuclear energy, and renewable sources like solar and wind. A type 2 civilization has progressed to the point of being able to harness and use the energy of its entire star, and a type 3 civilization has progressed beyond its single star and is able to harness the energy of an entire galaxy. So where are we on the Kardashev scale? Well, currently humanity is considered to be a type 0.7 civilization. And if technological progress continues at at its current rate, we might reach type 1 status in a few hundred years. So how do we reach type 2? This is the where the concept of Dyson spheres comes in. The concept was first proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in the 1950s as a way of harnessing energy from a star for the benefit of a technologically advanced civilization. The Dyson sphere is a hypothetical mega structure that captures all the energy emitted by a star. It consists of a series of structures such as satellites, solar panels or mirrors arranged to form a sphere around the star. Such a sphere would capture a whopping 384 yottawatts of power, which is about 33 trillion times humanity's current power consumption. It would also have an inner surface area of 550 million times that of Earth, which is enough space for trillions of inhabitants living inside the sphere. However, There are a few problems with the Dyson sphere concept. Firstly, the structure would face incredible stresses from the sun's gravity, which would be greater than any known material can handle. But even if we did discover a super strong material, the sphere would be hopelessly unstable. Any bump would cause one side to fall into the sun. All these issues can be solved if instead of building a Dyson sphere, we built a Dyson swarm. This is a collection of independent structures working together to capture the star's energy. The Dyson swarm would be easier to construct than a single solid Dyson sphere. Each solar collector would be about a kilometer in diameter with its own stable orbit around the sun. This would give humanity an unlimited source of energy. But how do we build one? A swarm that covers the entire sun would need quadrillions of solar collectors requiring quintillions of tons of material. and we would also need enormous amounts of energy and infrastructure to build it in the first place thankfully there is a plan it was proposed by stuart armstrong the idea is to disassemble mercury using self replicating robots mercury is best because it is close to the sun has no atmosphere which makes launching materials easy and has large quantities of oxygen and iron which can be used to make hematite and hematite is commonly used in mirrors these large mirrors can refocus sunlight into central collectors like concentrated solar power on earth and then would beam it somewhere useful using a laser the process of building the dyson swarm would begin with the construction of the first collector which would be a slow process due to limited resources and energy supply however once the collector is complete it provides orders of magnitude more available power which can be used to build additional collectors and other infrastructure such as mining and manufacturing facilities additionally this power can be used to power replicator bots which can help to build more replicators and other resources as the process of building collectors continues it becomes exponential with each new collector increasing the total amount of energy available for building even more collectors just within 70 years it is possible to have a partial dyson swarm completed So what would it mean for humanity if we were able to construct a Dyson swarm? The most obvious benefit is the access to unlimited energy and resources which would potentially support the needs of trillions of inhabitants. It would allow us to establish colonies on other worlds and potentially even terraform planets to make them more habitable for humans. 
it could even enable us to travel to other stars opening up the possibility of exploring and potentially even colonizing other parts of the galaxy if you like the video please do subscribe and watch the next one here see you in the next one